Worldwide, there are 180 million carriers of the hepatitis C virus, the most common cause for a liver transplant and second most common cause of cancer of the liver. Blood can be contaminated with the hepatitis C virus and is therefore highly infectious. There is no vaccination against hepatitis C. Even when therapy has been completely successful, there is still the possibility to contract the virus anew. Hepatitis C virus cells are 150 times smaller than red blood cells. A red blood cell is impossible to see with the naked eye as are the tiniest traces of blood. The smallest drop of infected blood from an infected person can carry millions of hepatitis C viruses. It is impossible to see if something is contaminated with the hepatitis C virus. In a used but apparently clean looking syringe or on a spoon, there can be thousands of hepatitis C viruses within the smallest amount of invisible blood. The majority of hepatitis C carriers caught the virus intravenously whilst taking drugs, and this is still the commonest cause of contagion for the new cases of contagion. Also, through the shared use of inhalation pipes, mouthpieces, razors, or even toothbrushes, the hepatitis C virus can be spread. If one of these risk factors affects you, let yourself be tested. In this model, it's possible to witness how one is intravenously infected. The ink symbolizes hepatitis C infected blood. Even still, only few drug consumers are aware of if they are infected or not. Every drug user must be aware of the risks of catching hepatitis C. The condition for hepatitis C infection is direct contact from infected blood with your blood. The virus can survive outside the body for weeks and can live in the smallest unseen drop of blood. Through the sharing of utensils when consuming drugs intravenously, the virus can also be transported. Needles and syringes which have been used by someone with the hepatitis C virus can with a high probability, cause infection. The washing and sterilization of needles and syringes is too little to guarantee that all viruses are killed. Always use fresh and sterile needles and syringes. If you don't have access to new needles, then use only your own ones. If an infected needle is washed out in a glass of water, the whole glass of water and the glass will be contaminated. Any utensils that come into contact with the infected water will also be hepatitis C infected and can infect the user. Again, the droplets of ink symbolize hepatitis C positive blood. If an already used spoon is used in the preparation of consuming drugs, a hepatitis C infection can follow as a result. Viruses in the smallest, most invisible drops of blood can survive weeks on a spoon and cause a hepatitis C infection, even if fresh needles, syringes and filters are used. Washing a spoon or disinfecting it with alcohol is not enough to prevent infection. To kill all traces of the virus, it is necessary for the spoon to be sterilized or put into boiling water for 20 minutes. Even in an already used filter, the hepatitis C virus can survive for weeks. It is possible to contract hepatitis C through the use of a contaminated filter, even if all the parts of the utensils are sterile and unused. Because hepatitis C is a dormant illness, it's possible to live for years without realizing infection. 
In the meantime, the virus can cause liver damage, leading to cirrhosis of the liver. Never ever consume drugs with shared needles or inhalation equipment. Always use only your own sterile equipment and utensils. Protect yourself from this disease. Allow yourself to be tested regularly. The quicker an infection is recognized and treated, the better the chances of a cure. Found in time, hepatitis C can be successfully treated. You have a great opportunity to defeat this disease with the help of a hepatitis C therapy.